Bizarre 1000 here with a random video. We get some light. Sorry. There. Oh, there's that light. Okay. Random video. Let's make this video about Tim Tebow. Because all he does is win. All he does is win. Kidding, kidding. Okay. The Rock. The Great One. The People's Champion. Versus Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder? What? Today on Twitter, Zack Ryder said, WrestleMania 29 will get zapped. The Rock says, do not, do not steal The Rock's Twitter phrases, or I will be forced to lay the people's elbow on you. Woo woo woo! That was entertaining. But no, let's talk about The Rock and Cena. The Rock versus Jonathan Cena. Everyone says, The Rock's gonna win. The Rock's gonna win. The Rock's gonna win. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think so. I think John Cena will win. And here's why. This is my personal opinion. I'm not a, a 20 years in the business inside wrestling super. No. I just go on what? I'm not reading these spoilers or these news sites about it. I'm reading some news sites, but nothing with this. So here's what I think. The Rock... John Cena. John Cena will win because how is this good for business to have The Rock come in and win and go in the Hall of Fame the same year? What does that do for wrestling? How does that... That's what wrestling has been about forever. How can I help make this better? How can I help my company? How can I help my brand get better? That's what wrestling has always been about. How can I make this better? Ric Flair, Harley Race. Harley Race said, hey kid, I'm dropping you the belt tonight. I mean, that's how you do it. I mean, Jeff Hardy in TNA, or WE, he finally got that shot. Hey, you're getting the belt. I mean, you passed the torch. Like, it's funny right now, I mean, I think CM Punk... His whole thing it went through with him winning the WWE title had a lot to do with Daniel Bryan winning the title so quickly. It's simply because the WWE has more faith in these guys. Because they went out and did the Miz thing, and the Miz never really panned out. I mean, he's in so much heat about missing R Truth, and he was supposed to catch him. R Truth could have been seriously injured. I mean, you got these straight edge guys like Daniel Bryan and CM Punk who are just, they don't go out and drink and do drugs, wellness policy guys, no, they're just straight up wrestlers. And a lot of people say, CM Punk is a good talker, Daniel Bryan is the greatest talker, but what you do with Daniel Bryan is, which is, I turn this on Daniel Bryan discussion, but okay, um, don't have him talk, just have him straight up to stand there and wrestle. He should only ever say two words, I will make you tap. That's all he should ever say. Make him the biggest heel in the world, and then when he finally, the crowd is wanting him dead, that's when you turn him face, and he becomes an even bigger star. That's how you do it. But, as far as Rock and Cena, it would be a good match, but Cena's going to win, simply because Cena's going to stay. And there is rumors that The Rock will... He have involved in SummerSlam, which I don't think he'll be wrestling. He'll probably just be involved as a host of SummerSlam or something like that. Or a special enforcer or something like that. But, and don't, after this Sunday, don't expect to see Cena that much. Because they're going to hold him off because he's injured or something like that to WrestleMania. So that's interesting. It seems like there's going to be something seriously going on here. And I'm pulling for Daniel Bryan to still be the champ after the chamber. Because I got my tickets. Up here in Michigan, Kalamazoo, right up the road, Wing Stadium. I want to see Daniel Bryan as the world champion. To watch him live. So that would be kind of cool. You guys, so I'll do a little quick video. The Rock, 
will lose. Why isn't the Macho Man in the Hall of Fame? Just random shit. Alright guys, this is Bizarre 1000. Check out most extreme Q&As. I'm waiting for video 4. Check it out.